Hi everyone, I'm Abby. And I'm Emily. And we are back with another How To with SB Blooms where we recreate trending Pinterest pins with our premium silk wedding flowers for rent. This season we are taking requests from our audience. So this week we chose to do Rachel's uh, request for a ceremony backdrop and then here's the inspiration picture and Emily's gonna tell you what she requested. Yes, so she requested the Millie collection with a touch of pink. And then her budget is $200 to $400, so she wants a ceremony backdrop. And we did this for under $300. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. Yeah. And we used the three of our Millie swags, two of our Peony garland, and an arch of your choice. We used this one. We'll link it in our Amazon storefront. And a white sheer fabric that we draped over. We'll also link in the description below. So yeah, I think it turned out really good. Yeah. All right, now let's get into it. Let's we'll start by draping on the arch. So we have our sheer fabric. I don't know how many yards, but as Emily said, we will link this in our Amazon storefront. It's just a sheer white fabric, and we have two, two of these. So the first point that we're gonna zip tie is right above where it starts to curve. Does that look like a good idea? drape it like this and put a zip tie in the center okay now you'll be left depending on how <clears throat> how long your fabric is you'll be left with this we're still going to hide that um when we connect the other piece and like we always like to say trust, trust the process <laughs> So I'm gonna zip tie this to the arch first, and then we're gonna layer the other one on top. Put the fabric with the other piece to make it thicker. So we got sulfur or like vamp. So we have the base. Um, then we're going to attach the swags. These are our Millie swags and they have a cage on the back. Suction cups to stick to mirrors or glass and then they have these hooks where you can attach it to the arch and that's what we will be uh, using for this. But this <laughs> Millie swag is a newer swag of ours. She came out I guess like three weeks yeah. ago. And then Abby likes to, which I'm going to do today, she likes to feed the zip tie through. Yeah, Pre-feed it. Um, and we also have construction going on next door, so if y'all hear any weird sounds or uh, men screaming at each other, um, that's what's happening next Everything's door. okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. yeah, we like to pre-feed zip ties. It just makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah, you'll need a buddy. I have a great one. <laughs> Our swags are not only great for arches, they also can be used for welcome signs, line the aisle, um, mantles, sweetheart tables, anything, a, a baseless centerpiece. With this one, I'm just gonna use my head. I can't help. <laughs> okay, so now that we have two on the right, we're gonna just put one on the left. Cute. You can definitely stop here. Yeah, if you don't but... want any pink added, you can stop here. If you do, we're you can you. do the next I step. Peony garlands. Yes, yeah, so this is our peony garland. 
it has a mixture of cream and pink panties um, it's on the thinner side so it's really easy to um, mesh well with other collections this is just one strand so if you wanted it to be two if you want it to be thicker you could totally mix intertwine it together and make it like one big garland but today we're just going to intertwine it through so i'm going to start at the top and to intertwine um anything especially garland oh yeah this was a question in our facebook group so if you are curious about intertwining things listen up yeah, yeah. so I always see people making the garland go around and around, which is not the best option, just because you don't get as many florals that way. So whatever garland you want to be shown the most, you will have that garland on top. So if you want Millie as the base and Kinsley throughout, that's a very popular option. You would lay the Millie garland flat and then you would line the two tips of the garland and you would move the petals like this and you would maybe, it's kind of hard to explain, but maybe we'll do another video yeah. just on garland intertwining. Comment below if you want to see that because yeah. that is a frequently asked yeah, but question. Of basically, ours. don't wrap it around, kind of mesh it in. Yeah. All of the stems are wire based, so you're able to kind of move them aside and open it up a little bit, place the garland in that opening, and then move the flowers back in to kind of manipulate yeah. it to how you want it to look. Exactly. But that would be a good, a good video for us to do. Yeah, we'll do that maybe next week. Since this is a longer garland than this, area i'm gonna hide a little bit behind the swag just to kind of fake it and intertwine half of the garland into the swag to make it look the exact same so i'm just gonna put this behind and then Final touch is making the center look high in the zip tie. Kind of like billow the fabric to cover it a little more, but that's why we recommend clear, clear zip ties. Now you can't even see it. Cute. I think this even turned out better than the I last think so one. Too. <laughs> I think so too. All right. Ta da! And there you have it an affordable ceremony backdrop featuring our Millie collection and peony garlands for Rachel. We hope you love it. Um, and if you want a chance for your request to be chosen, submit a form below. It's in the description. Let us know your budget, the area you want us to help you with, the collection you're interested in. If you're not sure, we can help you figure that out. Yes. And then also inspiration pictures which are really key and helpful to this whole series. So if that's something you're interested in, it is in the form below yes and all the products used today will be in the description as well as long as well as our amazon storefront with our zip ties structures everything listed there so you can just click and add to cart um but if you like this video and you want to see more be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram facebook and tiktok so you can have a say in what we do next see y'all next time bye, bye.